do you think that oh, what is your what's your opinion on like like body count should guys ask for a girl's no, body count no no never gentlemen oh my god guys listen like, to like, me should guys ask about her exes like how what's the no don't ask anything no you don't ask you observe there are so many there are so many uh relationship and dating experts that say well if you want to know something about a woman communicate with her ask her no you want to know why because women fucking lie they lie their fucking asses off when you ask a girl about her body count, this tell th this it does two things. Number one, it makes you look insecure as a man. Number one, number two, she is going to lie. It doesn't matter what number she tells you. Whatever number she tells you guys, multiply it by seventeen dozen, and that's around the answer. That that's probably around. Dozen. The, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> give or take, give or take, give, give or take a dozen in either direction. You know, I mean, you never know. But yeah, don't ask women about their body counts, man, because she's never going to tell you the truth. Instead, you observe. Mm -hmm. Now, ladies, if your guy asks you your body count, keep an eye out. You lie your ass off. You lie your ass <laughs> off. However, there is a caveat. Okay. If, if, if a girl is messing around a dude, if, if a girl is messing around a, with a dude who asks her what her body count is, chances are he probably doesn't have game. He probably doesn't have that much experience with women. Because if you have experience with women, you know not to ask them their body counts because you know, you know they're going to lie. However, let's just say that there is one gross outlier, a guy who actually has a little bit of game and knows his way around a woman, ask you the body count question, tell him. Tell him seven. Lie your ass off. But the caveat is this. The caveat is this, and this is why we tell guys to observe. If you tell a guy that your body count is seven, but your body count is closer to 77, you better act like your body count is seven. Because let's just say I'm dating a girl, and in a moment of weakness, I get drunk. What's your body count? Oh, seven. I'm like, oh, okay. But then she has a tattoo, right? She seems to know a lot of, she seems to know a lot of guys. She's very flirtatious. When she's around men she's attracted to, she, she, she gets demonstrative. Have you ever, uh, um, have you ever heard of this before? Like you can, you can tell when a woman is attracted to a man when she, like if you're at the grocery store, right? If a woman's at a grocery store and she, and she finds herself being attracted to you, she will do things to get your attention. She'll be demonstrative. Maybe she'll make a, uh, she'll make a motion. So she'll maybe, maybe speak a little bit louder so that you turn your head in that direction. This actually happened with me and Devin when we went to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. this, this happened with, uh, to me and Devin when we, went, uh, when we went to Hawaii. So we're sitting there at breakfast and we had only been seeing each other for a few months. And I know, I, and I'm, and we're right in front of each other. And I notice that all of a sudden she starts getting, she starts talking with her hands. Devin never talks with her hands because she's a low key person. I instantly knew what was going on. I turn around and it looks like, and it's basically Thor sitting behind me. You want to know what I did? You want to know what I did? I, and I, I got to the side just like this so that they could see each other. I said, well, Devin, like, if you want the guy's number, <laughs> you should just ask him. I mean, we can trade up hotel rooms. They both turned a brilliant shade of magenta, and Devin never flirted with another man in front of me since then. Do you think she was doing that intentionally? Oh, absolutely. 1,000%. Oh, wow. Oh, you better believe it. You better believe it. Again, look, look dude. Like, Because in my head, like, I just, I'm a big, like, I give people, like, the benefit of the doubt. No. Oh, so, okay, yeah, yeah. You're, sorry, listen, I know. I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're so a woman. So I'm just like, oh, she's just talking with her hands. No, mm -mm. She was talking with oh. her hands to become, and the reason I knew that is oh. because, I'll be in Vegas at a, at a corner store, uh, you know, a casino, whatever the case may be, and I'll hear a woman talking loudly, and I'm looking around, and I'm like, oh, well, who the hell is that? Mm -hmm. After a while, I started figuring out, oh, she's giving me indirect choosing signals. I go over there and approach, so and that's that. So what made you not, like, break up with her over that? Uh, we were not committed to each other yet. She was still in the training process. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just, I was just curious which of you would advise a guy to break up with a girl over that if they were together. No. Uh, well, it depends on how far along it is in the relationship and right. how serious it is. So this was during this was during the training process. We'd been seeing each other. And I because think she responded well. Well, she was yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, guys have to understand when 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 you're training a woman for a relationship, there's going to be a learning curve. She's not going to get it right all the time. Mm -hmm. And Devin, she was 39 years old. She had just come out of a 20-year marriage, which which by the way was one of the reasons I actually took her a little bit more seriously is because she had relationship skills. She was in a marriage for 20 years, but by the same token, she had been divorced for 6 months and was doing all the things that divorcees that are attractive do when they get divorced. And so I had to train a lot of those bad habits out of her, which included indirectly flirting with men in my presence. So as like from the woman's point of view, what like bad habits can we get rid of to like make us make us more marriageable to the men today? 
So to I'll, I'll re-ask the question for you. What are the types of things you should do and not do, yeah. right, to not set off a guy's alarm bells, okay. right? So, uh, first of all, first of all, stay off your phone. Stay off your phone. That's what I would do. Second thing I would do, and if you really like the guy, delete your Instagram. Mm -hmm. Delete your Instagram. Stay off your phone. Um, uh, uh, go over to his house a lot. Uh, be around him a lot. Uh, if you have any lingering exes, block all their numbers. You know what Devin did? Mm -hmm. uh, what Devin did when I told her, all right, it, she was like, hey, look, I want to be with you, blah, blah, blah. I said, all right, well, yeah, this is the training process. She changed her phone number. She changed wow. her phone. Yeah, she ch dude, she changed her phone number. Changed her, she had an Android. Went to Apple, changed her phone number. So she cut off all communication with, all, with any and all exes, flings, whatever the case may be. That almost sounds nice. I should change my number. I was thinking about this. I'm like, that is probably a good then, idea. I was like, then I could just limit it because now, you know, people come back, they start hitting me up for things, get on the channel, you know. It's like, I, I have too many people that have my number anyway. Well, <laughs> well, listen, 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 we, we laugh and we chuckle, but let's just, let's just say for the sake of argument, right. there was a guy that you were interested in and maybe he was interested in you. If you were to change your phone number and you tell him why you did it, that would make an impression on him. Of that, I am certain. What do you guys think in the back? If, you, if a girl came up to you and was like, I changed my number for you. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what, that's what, there you go. Because like, I mean. as a girl, I would never think to like change. Yeah, <laughs> if you want, look, dude. I believe you. I'm yeah. just like, huh, I never would have even thought of that. Yeah, that makes, that makes, and I didn't even think of that. Devin did that on her own. Wow. She, dude, she texted me from another number. I was like, oh, okay, this one might actually have a chance. And the rest is history. Were you like, were you playing the field before that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. dude, during the training process, there were two. Actually, so when we first met, I was messing around with two other girls. When Devin and I got a little more serious with the training, she was actually in competition with a girl almost half her age. I was dating a. Yeah, she out competed a girl half her age. She literally, she did. She did. This girl was 20. So I met this. So this girl's name was Chrissy. And uh, I had, I dated her dated her on and off since she was 19. I, this is funny. I met Chrissy three weeks after her po three weeks after her post op for her boob job. So, and this girl was a smoke show. Hard 10. Beautiful Mexican girl. Beautiful symmetry. Beautiful ass. I mean, dude, like she was a dude, perfect body, knew how to stay in shape, but she was as dumb as a fucking tire. She was as dumb as a tire, and and she could not cook. I actually, I actually thought that maybe I could teach her to cook, so I paid three hundred and fifty dollars for her to take cooking classes, and it, it didn't help. Anyway, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, and I meet Devin. I, I'd been dating Chrissy when I started dating Devin, and little by little, uh, Devin began to separate herself. Like she began to separate herself, and uh, and when she started sending me food when I was, tra she would send me food to where I was traveling. She would cook and send me food. I was like, okay, this is quite something. But the thing that won me over, one of the many things that Devin did that won me over the quickest was she installed cameras in her apartment mm -hmm. so that I could see, not that I ever checked and was spying on her, but she, she gave me access to her alarm system. She put a key logger on her phone. And I was like, wow, this woman really is serious. She really was serious.